Hi, I'm Ray Collins. Some local parents say a decision can't come soon enough. They're among those who file a suit against the state and several school districts. As our Adam Cellini tells us now, at issue is some honor students having to repeat third grade. Cindy Vanderford's adopted son Matthew will be opting out of state tests this year as he transitions from his last school in Uganda. He worked really hard to get on par with all of his students and all the other kids his age. And I don't want to lose that by coming back to the public school system and thinking, okay, he's going to be taking this test and that test. Now a decision in Tallahassee could affect whether or not Matthew will be preparing for fourth grade by this time next year. That's going to be something I'm going to keep a close eye on to see what judgments come forth and what's being changed. A recently filed lawsuit by Sarasota attorney Andrea Mogensen against the state's retention policy for third graders ended in a stalemate on Friday. Disappointing for the more than dozen families involved and hundreds more in Florida's opt-out network. We most certainly were frustrated. There's a number of students that are involved in this lawsuit that uh, are about to start, start school. Amy Lee, who helps run Manatee County's opt-out support group, was surprised to hear a Department of Education attorney dispute the lawsuit's claim that report cards are enough proof a child can read. Hearing that kind of statement from a state official is heartbreaking and honestly it's frightening. Uh, it validates everything that we fought for over the past month of fundraising to bring this lawsuit to court. Many feel the result of this case could have a national impact on standardized testing. Currently across the U.S. there are 16 states that have this policy. Indecisiveness is not going to do anyone any good. Let's make some choices, let's make some good decisions, and then let's keep moving forward and doing things that are going to benefit everyone. The judge presiding over this case has given the school districts until August 19th to file their final written arguments in this case. And many close to the case believe that August 22nd could be the final decision in court, which will be the same day school starts in Sarasota County. In Bradenton, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News.